Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody, give him glory, give him honor. Tomorrow, we are starting the 40-day fast. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. If you are needing a breakthrough, a change, a healing, a deliverance, come on, somebody, hallelujah, then that's how you do it. Remember, the Bible says, this kind come out but by fasting and praying. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So what we're going to do is, um, I decided not to be, not to actually give a call. What I'm going to do is actually get on here. So it could be more personable. Not only that, (laughs) I'm just going to be real. When we're on these fasts, I promise you, witches, warlocks, they're always on the line. I don't even want to, I don't want to put anyone through that. I don't want to go through that. Come on, somebody. So this way I can stay prayed up. We can stay strong together. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now ain't nobody scared of no witches and warlocks. Don't get it twisted. However, they're not going to (laughs) interrupt. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you something. When we go on these it is not just to say, oh, I'm going on a fast. No, God has summoned it. He mandated. I take it very, very serious. I'm going to say that again. I take it very, very serious. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. All right. That's every day for 40 days. That's from um, tomorrow, July 10th to August 18th. Now, after 3 p.m., you can eat a light meal. What do I mean by light meal? I'm going to be doing fruits and vegetables. I wanted to give you the option because you know what your body needs. It's hot out there. Some people are working in the heat. Some people are going through some things. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever God tells you to eat, that's what you do. You know, um, one thing God is doing through, through fasting and everything in this last day, God is bringing everyone back to himself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's too many people thinking, I need to talk to this apostle, this prophet. God said, I'm going to see you face to face. I'm going to talk to you face to face. Get to know me for you are my child. Hallelujah. So you got to learn God. This is a face to face thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's a relationship. Don't get it twisted. You know, and I'm going to keep it honest and real. Too many people perpetrating. (laughs) Come on, somebody. For money on here, for fame, for glory. I don't know what they be doing. I'm going to be honest with you. I I, I really don't have time for that because here's the deal. My spirit is too important. Oh, come on, somebody. My eternal salvation is too important to be playing games. Come on, somebody. With you, about you, and to you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So, you know how we do our fast. We take it very seriously. We're praying for the country. We're praying for leaders. We're praying for the church. We're praying, praying for everybody, the whole world, because we all hurting. Come on, somebody, and hold on. Hurting is not a bad thing, because guess what? When you really are called and anointed, baby, you go from glory to glory. It's a story from story. Hallelujah, because you're going from level to level and different devils. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't, don't get it twisted. You know, um, I heard something yesterday, and I agree with everything. But it's like this. Your main opposition comes from the enemy. The enemy is a spirit. And I'm getting ready to say this. Everything is a spirit. Everything is a spirit. When I get off of here, I'm going to actually do another live because I want to address some things. I put a post out yesterday about domestic violence. And I'm going to answer some questions because here's the deal. I just put it out there. Because really, I was actually standing with somebody. But it opened up a lot of things. So what I want to do is I actually want to ask, uh, answer some questions. Because here's the deal. A lot of people don't understand how this really goes. Well, you have a lot of preaching, but you don't have a lot of teaching. Oh, I'm, I'm, got to, I'm got to go here. Jesus did more teaching than preaching. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Because what is it to preach to people and you can't teach them? How to stand, how to come out of something, how to stand in something. Oh, come on, somebody, because truth be told, when you are truly anointed and appointed, you're going through, coming out, going through, coming out. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, Hallelujah. You will never just be uh, left alone. Oh, I'm so sorry. The ones that you see having fun are the ones that are already in sin. The devil helped them already. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling like a T.I. is. So I'm getting ready, actually. To get off of here because I just want to talk about the fast. I'm going to be doing a a live from 5 a.m. And the reason why I'm doing it that way and not a call. I just told you um, spirituality, actually spiritual warfare. But not only that, there's a lot of people that actually is working. And so they can go back and actually hear the fast, um, you know, what we're going through, what we're seeing. And when I do these, you got to understand I'm under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Every morning, he's going to give me something because I'm going to get up early. I'm going to be in prayer. I don't play with God's people. I don't play with God. 
Because guess what? When we do this, when he mandates this, it's because we need something. We got to get something. And we're not just talking about blessings. It might be healings. It might be deliverance. It might be a child and, that you want to come home. It might be a child that you want delivered. It might be a marriage that you want healed. It might be your body that you want healed. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and people don't understand. Prayer works. Oh, come on, somebody. But sometimes you got to fast with it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you got to understand that the atmosphere matters. You can't just be in any old atmosphere. You can't be around just anybody. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not trying to say we're all that. But I, I got to protect my anointing because I don't know who I'm after minister. I don't know who I'm after minister to or for or through. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because to be honest with you, people are not, that they're, they're not laboring for people anymore. It's a show. It's time for us to labor for each other again. Meaning that I don't have to know you to walk for you. I can pray on my face for you. Come on, somebody. I can call out your name. Oh, come on, somebody. I can have your name written down and just pray over it and say, God, touch them. I don't even need to know your business. Oh, come on, somebody. All I need to know is you. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. I'm going to get off and I'm going to come on and I'm going to talk about some serious issues about domestic violence and other situations. All right. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.